One of the risks when using Hey as your email provider is that you can only use Hey's app to access the service. And this is different from all other email clients, obviously, uh, because you have clients and providers. And so if you use Gmail, you can use the Gmail app, or you can use Spark, or you can use Apple Mail, or you can use any sort of other email app to access that. And if you're using Gmail, Outlook, uh, Apple Mail, there's a good chance basically every email client out there for every platform is going to work for you. So you can have your pick. The disadvantage of an app like Hey, which I currently use for my email, is that you can only use it with Hey's app and their website. And so you really rely on that company to deliver new features that are up to date with what the platforms offer. And so that's why I was very excited to see Hey release support for widgets. And I think that widgets in Hey work fantastic and they actually work incredibly well with how Hey operates. So let me show you what you can do. So I'm on my home screen now. I'm going to just hold down to go into jiggle mode and I hit plus to go into my widgets and I'm gonna go down to Hey. And so there are quite a few options here. I'm gonna use the large widget because I think that's gonna show off what you can do here the best. Right, so by default, it shows you the new for you, which is your inbox. So I have one inbox item there now, but what I actually find really useful for Hayes widgets is if I go in here, I can select to see the feed, paper trail, reply later, or set aside. And so I can put the feed there, and I think the feed actually is a great fit here because these are all the emails that I said I only sort of wanna see. I wanna get them, but I don't wanna necessarily get notified about them. I don't wanna see them in my inbox all the time. And so now, while I'm scrolling through my home screen, I have this on my second home screen uh, when I'm actually using my phone, and it just makes it so that I can kind of get a glance at what's come in, and if I want to see what's going on, like, oh, I want to see Ben Thompson's email, you can tap on it, and it takes you directly to that message, which is great. And so it's all here. You can see the most recent ones. You can tap on the feed over here on the right and just get taken to the feed itself and just see that. But yeah, you can, of course, go into it. You can edit, oops, not edit the home screen, uh, edit the widget so I can see other ones. Uh, again, new for you is the inbox. I can see all my other ones. Uh, I can see the ones in the paper trail. I actually don't know what's gonna show there, so I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> but yeah, so you can do the feed in a big one. I actually like the idea quite a bit of going into, uh, let's see, if I go to Hey again, let's do this uh, smaller one. Where is that? Here we go, latest email list. So I'm gonna drag this onto my home screen now. And so again, defaults to the inbox, but I can switch it to my reply later. And so now I can see a list of basically to-do lists. So I have an email to Josh I need to reply to, and I can go into that and send my reply. But it's a nice way to kind of keep track of, kind of like how your task manager can show your upcoming tasks. Your reply later one can kind of be like a to-do list for your email. So really flexible, it's really nice. And I think widgets work great with kind of the concept of how Hey handles your email. So I wanted to show it off today uh, as a really exciting update for me. And if you're using Hey, you should totally use it. I don't know if it's a reason on its own to switch to Hey, especially at $100. And like I said, you have to use their app. But I think that if you're using it, it's going to make you very happy. Oh, and before I go, one last thing. Uh, in the Hey app, if you go to your settings, you can actually have this whole customization setting section now. And the widget theme has a bunch of different themes you can choose from. So if you want to match your app icon, you can do that. And so uh, let's see, I'm just gonna go with rainbow, right? And so now I go to my home screen and those sidebar and top bar are adjusted. So you can make it themed a little bit however you want. So that's also cool too, worth mentioning. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.